for an audience, so this would be more real like. But uh, apparently, you got to get a release form for everybody. So we had to make do with what we could. You okay over there, Andy? All right. Bye, Bob. So, example. Let's do a mechanical. Oh, I should I should do those conversions. Well, they're in the book. You can see them. I talked about them already. So let's just try them as an example. Um, I'll do linear mechanical and uh, electrical. So we'll say we've got a. Oh no. Oh, I know. Say so we're going to raise somebody up. On a platform that's attached via a pulley to a crane. It's being operated. By a cartoon character. And let's say I raise this thing a height of, uh, oh man, let's say it's going to go up metric or English. Let's do, uh, let's do English. I'm going to raise this up a height of 50 feet. 50 feet, and this guy has got a weight. There we go. A weight of uh, 150 pounds. And this system, it's 150, and it raises him in 10 seconds. So it raises him in a time of 10 seconds. Okay, so let's figure out first, what's the, uh, what's the output power of raising this person up? Well, let's see, the output power is the work over time. In this case, the work is the weight times the height divided by the time it took to do it. That's going to be uh, 150 pounds raised 50 feet in 10 seconds. Oops, that's 50 feet, excuse me. And so that's going to be uh, 750 foot-pounds per second. I'll circle that. Now, for B, I need an input power. Let's say the voltage on this thing is 440 volts. And the current is uh, 3 amps. So I want to know what's the input power? Well, the electrical input power that's driving that crane that's lifting this person up is voltage times current which is 440 volts times 3 amps which would be uh, 1,320 watts, joules per second. A uh, volt is a joule per coulomb, an amp's a coulomb per second. When you multiply them together, you get joules per second, which is a watt. So I've got 1,320 watts. <coughs> Let's see. And I should convert this to watts, because I want to know what the percentage is. So the C What's the efficiency of this system? I put 1320 watts in, I got 750 foot pounds per second out, but I don't have them in the right units. So let's try it. Efficiency is the output power over the input power times 100%. And that's equal to the output power is 750 foot pounds per second divided by the input which is 1320 watts times 100% but I've got to get these to the same units 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, let's see, I know that one horsepower in the equations, I know what it is, and so I'll use this, this conversion. There are a few different ways to do it. I know that 746 watts is one horsepower, and that's the same as 550 foot-pounds per second. These are both one horsepower, so it's a valid conversion. And the watts will cancel, and the foot-pounds per second will cancel. I think I've got a calculator here somewhere. And so if we do this, we get uh, 750 divided by 1320 times 100 times 746 divided by 550 equals that's equal to 77.1 percent efficiency. Now you could have converted that input and that output power before you put it in the equation too. I just thought it was simpler this way. So I guess the next thing to do is try an example on torque.